Hello everybody, and uh, I'm going to show you my favorite pyro loadout for Team Fortress 2, so, hold on, I'll just, I'll just show you, I use the decreaser because of the switch speed, and the detonator because of detonator jumps, it's, it's very good for mobility, I either use that, or sometimes the panic attack, if I, if I like, if there's like heaps of water and I use that mostly in like, in maps like this, like tip two port because there's lots of water you know and I'll show you see you can you can do that with your jumps oh, I messed it up yeah you can do you can just do jumps it's, it's very helpful for mobility and stuff like that and uh, you may be thinking oh 66 afterburn cost is pretty bad but no it isn't not well not for me at least you, this is my opinion. Ah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I honestly, this is just my favorite loadout. Sometimes I, I use the normal clear gun. Sometimes I don't. Mostly just use the detonator. And this, or the back scratcher. And yeah, that this is probably like the most solid um, pyro loadout for me. I just like it a lot. It's a very good pyro loadout. And, um, that is... Sometimes I use the thermal thruster. It's alright, but it's not the best, you know. Like, it's, it's good for, like, going across the air, but the detonator is better, because you can use it for attacking people as well. It's not just mobility. You can also use this or the power jack. The power jack's a pretty good um, thing because you have 50% more, you're 15% faster when it's when it's like out. And uh, yeah, the, 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 the only thing bad about the decreaser is um, the um, afterburn, but it's not that bad. I mean, it used to be way better before they nerfed it. And yeah, like you, you could. I I sometimes use the stock flamethrower because you know it has better afterburn and stuff, or um the floss grenade thing. Yeah, this is probably like the best loadout. I'll show you um some other things that you can use for Barrow. And yeah. yeah, this is like the most solid one for me. And I, uh, I don't really like the squad shot, you know, because it's, it's very overpowered. It should be nerfed. Because look at all the upsides, and the two downsides aren't even that bad. So I used to. Now this, some people like to use this weapon, but I don't really like to use it. Mostly because it has no air loss, so you can't really extinguish people or deflect. Look at that, yeah, the panic attack is a really good shotgun. But I liked it when, you know, it used to be a, like the biggest bazooka, but a shotgun. And the, the homewrecker. I don't, I don't really like it, but uh, it's, it, I don't even find it that useful. But I do like the back scratcher. That's a really very good weapon, the back scratcher. And yeah, this is probably like my favorite demo, um, not demo knife, um, pyro. But, uh, so I'll just show you, you can do, you can pull off Heaps of stuff when you use the decreaser, heaps of combos and stuff like that. I used to use the score shot, you know, but I don't really use it anymore because it's a bit too unfair, you know. I reckon they should nerf the hell out of it. Like they nerf, they nerf weapons I didn't even want. Like the ambassador and stuff like that. You know? I wish I want the old ambi back.
What else? Um. We have um, the enemy intelligence. Most people use that loadout for fire. Oh, not the, not that. So most people use the decreaser. Well, um, well, not, not many people use it anymore, because you know the, the nerf. But I still like it, and the score shots all right. And what else? Uh, that's about it. For me? Uh, what else could you use? Oh yes, you can use the the reverse shooter. That's that's it's all right, and like it's not the best, but it's still pretty good. The reverse shooter. I'll try. I'm gonna try get a building kill. Yeah, the reverse shooter is pretty alright. It used to be good, you know, because you could like ear blast them up in the air. I'll actually try and show you on um, what's his name, um, soldier. Yeah, just had my brain died for a second. What? Why is it up there? Control the loadout. What? Well, I'll try. I'll try play trolls. Yeah, I guess. Seeming it won't let me do other stuff. Yeah, trolls. Trolls is a very, very complicated class to play. Oh, no. I think it, would you call it a subclass? I wouldn't really call it a subclass. Success. We have secured the enemy intelligence. No, oh, I missed up the jump. The trolls are a pretty good class to play. But I will get back to Pyro. Yeah, Pyro. I'll try and pull off some combos. This is the um oh, the old loadout I used to use. You know, you can switch between them very fast. And yeah, that that's probably the best pyro loadout. This here, or the detonator. Because for this one, you can only use that jump, and that it is not that good. But the detonator, you can use. I'll show you. I'll give you a wee demonstration on what jumps you can use with the detonator. Um. So you can use the normal detonator jump, which is just you press. Space and crouch, and uh, you can do the, the self detonator jump, uh, which is you hold uh, left click, and um, like it's a horizontal one. So like you go, I'll, sh I'll try and show you. So you, yeah, see, so you can like gap over, go over long distances. Oh. Golden frying pan. So I'll, I'll demonstrate it. On, um, hopefully, I have enough health. So see, you can go like, oh, never mind. I didn't have enough health to do that. Sure, so I'll show you the first one. Right, the first one's all right. I guess it does. Oh. But the other one's good for traveling like long distances across stuff. And the first one's just good for getting up stuff. Fire, fire. Oh. The enemy has dropped our intelligence. 
And this, yeah, that's probably the best pyro loadout right there. Well, in my opinion, so goodbye.